Hello friends, this is tutorial number 32 in this Turbo Pascal programming language tutorials. Okay, uh, in this tutorial we are continue with the functions. Okay, uh, and uh, okay, let's start with function. We will need uh, variables. Variables will be x and y. Okay, and we will have, it will not be result, it will be uh, a maximum. Okay, uh, it will be, okay, it can be uh, integer. Okay, and uh, what we want to do now? We want to do, uh, what we want to do, uh, we want to enter two numbers. Uh, and we want to now, okay, we want to enter number x and number y and we want to uh, to create a function that will give us which number is uh, uh, larger. Okay, nothing, nothing complicated. And okay, let's create our function, but I just want to, all, to show you what we can do with function. Okay, function, it will be... Uh, uh, okay, we will, okay. Uh, then uh, we have a variable uh, maximum. Okay, it will be a uh, max number. It should be good. Uh, function will be max number, and it will have uh, a and b. Uh, that will be an uh, integer. Okay, and of course this function max number will return us an integer. Okay, the same thing is okay as you know, we can use real okay uh, as short int or long int, it depends, but the it's all the same. And now, uh, okay, uh, let's let's create uh, let's create uh, uh, begin and end of the function and let's create begin and end of our application. Okay, let's start. Let's define a function. It will be a simple. Uh, okay, a max uh, number uh, will be equal. Uh, okay, and what? Uh, how we will define? No, it will not be. Uh, just, just a second. Uh, uh, here, how we gonna do that? Uh, uh, if, uh, if a is. Uh, Greater than than b, uh, then we will have a begin. Okay, it needs to be here. Uh, begin and end. And okay, and we will type. We need to type if uh, a is greater than, than b or larger than than than, than b. Uh, okay, uh, max uh, number. Uh, will be equals to a pretty much simple and of course we will have a else statement else statement also we will have begin and end this will be with semicolon because it's else statement okay if this if condition if a is uh, First, if condition not true, okay, we will simply type max uh, number uh, will be equals to to b. Nothing complicated here. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, now uh, we define with this. We define our function. Okay. And let's uh, let's start. Here is our begin and end. And let's simply let's start with our application. Okay, we have x, y, and maximum. Uh, okay, we will write line. Uh, enter the numbers x and uh, y. Okay, and we will simply read line uh, x and y. We will write them. Uh, okay, uh, x equals to x, and uh, we will write uh, y 
equals to epsilon okay we want to okay let's go down and now uh, what we need okay we write it our uh, two numbers two variables that we enter and we simply want to define to define the variable maximum okay uh, a maximum will be equals okay we now need to call uh, we need to call function max number uh, max number function has var variable a and b uh, that are integer and return an integer okay we need a max uh, number function max number of two integers of course it will be uh, x and y okay and uh, semicolon and that should be good and we will simply write line write line uh, maximum number uh, or equal or x or you can type is okay whatever you want I will I will I type equal and okay we will just need a maximum okay and uh, let's uh, uh, let's see uh, let's see okay first we need to compile maybe we have some error we don't okay and let's see let me see uh, will it work properly okay 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 uh, okay enter number x first uh, 51 epsilon will be 23 and and I forgot the read line I hate this I don't want to debug okay now I will debug okay to see if it will work properly okay let's debug to the user screen okay as you can see we have uh, we enter uh, okay x equals to 51 epsilon equals to 23 and maximum number is 51 okay it is only a maximum of two of two numbers uh, let me try again okay uh, enter on the numbers x and epsilon okay uh, x will be 40 and uh, epsilon will be 45 okay as you can see we have maximum number is 45 it's uh, uh, this function this function works and now if we uh, as you can see this function okay this function for us will resolve if we can give give uh, two numbers of a function and it will give us uh, we want to okay we uh, our program asked us two numbers we told them two numbers and with that function okay we used that, that function okay uh, give us the, the the larger number and it give to us okay of course it's normal okay we will run if we type same numbers uh, 12 and 12 of course maximum will be just oh i mistake uh if we give uh, two same numbers maximum will be maximum will be 12 of course because this is okay this is uh, n uh, in minimum and maximum because these uh, these numbers are uh pretty uh pretty much the same and okay as you can see we we can type uh, again but uh, this works uh, for okay 150 okay a maximum will be 100 okay uh now uh let me finish okay as you can see uh what we use with okay we i show you what can we do with functions and it, it's just a, it's just the simplest uh, things that we can do okay now as you can see we can find the maximum number of uh, of uh, of uh, two numbers or more numbers okay i will show you in the next tutorial uh okay we can find uh, okay or square or, or squared or whatever addition subtraction whatever operation maybe now uh, you you will tell me okay but uh, we already did these things we can do it without function but 
the the point is with function with function uh, uh, but uh, you don't know in the in the application because we didn't work uh, two large application but imagine that, that we have one large op application and how many times we need to to find some subtraction or addition or squared and uh, with in in the large application uh, fun function will be very useful uh, to us okay uh, I really hope that you like this video okay in the, in the next tutorial I will show you how to find a uh, maximum number but we when we have uh, a little more numbers there than one but nothing nothing be okay you are pretty pretty much good in this uh, you understand uh, I'm I'm sure that you understand everything and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram you have a link in the description and I will see you in the next tutorial